August 24th, 2013, and this is the first test of my brown rice versus white rice 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, and I'm testing the Ta Manashiki Genma Superior Supremium su Super Premium Short Grain Brown Rice, 3,907 counts for 6,000 seconds. Max data point is 6. Average data point is 0.65. So I'm picking something up because usually, of course, if you've been watching, background is 0 0.50. And this is the brand that I'm using. There's the code right there. Tamanashiki Genma Super Premium Short Grain. I guess these guys are supposed to be some of the best superior rice coming out of Japan so just curious to see what it's going to test and it seems like it's picking something up but now they're saying brown rice contains the cesium so now it's uh, white rice is better than brown rice go figure let's turn this around And it says it's a product of the United States, but don't be fooled because it's not. I was told this Japanese food, Japanese food corporation or whatever, whatever JF, JFC is, they're the one of the biggest, I think, importer exporters in Japan. So this is definitely grown in Japan, even though it says product of USA. August 24th, 2013, and this is the test on the white rice, and this is a Nishiki, 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, 3,409 counts, 5 count high, average data point is 0.57. And this is white rice now. Now there's the white rice right there, so it's polished. So supposedly it doesn't have that cesium in it, like as opposed to brown rice would. Now here's the Nishiki white rice that I tested. And this is, I don't know, I can't read that, so. It's called sushi rice, though. So you get a double whammy with sushi. You get the salmon or tuna. And then the cesium with the rice. And it's the same thing. Product of USA, they're saying, but it's not. That's This is grown in Japan. August 24th, 2013, and this is the background reading for the brown and white rice test. 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, 2,927 counts, 5 count high, and the average data point is 0.49. My conclusion on the brown rice versus white rice radiation content is this. Obviously, it makes sense that if you polish the rice, it would uh, take out that cesium that would be on it. 
main point is that it's it's uh, just not a good thing that the cesium's in there to begin with. And lately, there's been a lot of bad news with uh, Fukushima seems to be getting worse instead of getting better. And TEPCO came out saying that it's just basically been uh, letting out emissions for the past two and a half years into the ocean, along with uh, probably fallout from the steaming of it, steam releases, and then uh, with the uh, mountains and the rainfall coming down and washing into the paddies which are probably mostly the lowest areas of the land over there where they're growing the rice at. The frightening thing is that we're dealing with something that we can't even see all this radiation contamination and then every time we have a typhoon all that water is just moving and dispersing that radiation just into more places that we won't be able to figure out so it's just a bad situation altogether, and right now I don't do rice. I actually switched to quinoa. Background, white rice, brown rice. Background, white rice, brown rice. Background, white rice, brown rice. Background, white rice, brown rice.